My topic is reconciliation. As reconciliation is important in political thinking, in philosophy and social ethics, we also wanted to connect those more non-theological dimensions with the concept. This whole business with reconciliation only started with the South African apartheid struggle and, and the kind of concept of reconciliation was elaborated in the 1990s due to this political process in South Africa. So this is very important part, and I also deal with South Africa in, in some detail in my entry. But as a Christian theologian, uh, one, of course, immediately knows that the Latin concept reconciliatio is very prominent in the Vulgate, and it comes from the Greek word, word katalage. Atonement is more systematic and philosophical concept which tries to explain the work of Christ in rational terms, often used by philosophers of religion, whereas reconciliation is more social ethical. Then we have additional problem uh, with the German language, where we have a very comprehensive word, Verzönu, which covers both reconciliation and atonement, and also some other concepts. Uh, it's also a very prominent concept in the history of ideas because the German philosopher of the 19th century, Hegel, used it as a kind of key concept of modernity. His idea was that the kind of tensions in the world history can be reconciled in the Enlightenment. So the spirit of Verzönu reconciliation is something which brings about modernity and new development for humankind. Reconciliation can also take place with the kind of persisting difference of opinions, and we must learn something like good ways to disagree or virtuous disagreement. New Testament scholars think today that the Greek word katalage, katalasein, does not have any Old Testament equivalent. It's a Hellenistic word. And when you look at the Greek context of New Testament times, it is a word which was used among the city-states in their mutual peace talks, attempts of, of getting along with each other and preventing the war. And it seems that the Apostle Paul, in his epistles, in some sense, in order to illuminate the reconciliation with God, he takes this Hellenistic word of which has a kind of diplomatic background and uses it in this vertical dimension. When I was studying people like Augustine or some other Latin church fathers, it was to me a kind of positive surprise that the Latin term reconciliation is so often coined with peacekeeping and peace work. While it is important that you forgive one another, it's also essential in the biblical concept and also maybe in the peacekeeping processes that you leave room for surprises and unexpected occurrences, that the kind of um, intervention of God in Christ takes place in some sense unexpected. It's kind of incongruous gift of God. It's not congruous in, just in the sense that, that, that some gifts are like matters of politeness, but God is, God is giving something which is total surprise and totally unexpected.